Yo guys, I'm HP. This is your friendly guitar from the neighbor Dr. Pink. Today's topic is how to groove on jazz guitar. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, and also join the HP Crazy Guitar Academy with a free member account or a premium member account to support the work which me and Dr. Pink are doing for you. So, what are we talking about today? How to groove on jazz guitar. That's a really tough topic i show you what we're going to talk about so the topic today is as i said how to groove on jazz guitar and uh, in this case, I'm using a really simple chord progression, A minor 7 to D9. Um, like with this, you make a, you're in the 5th fret, uh, middle finger on, on the E string 5th fret, A string is damped, and ring finger over 3 on the D, G and B string, A minor 7 to D9, you just move down here, 5th fret, A string, 4th fret, D string, and 5th fret again. G and B string. So these these are the two chords. The chords are not the topic today, so we're staying now on the total view um, because this is about body work and this is about feeling the rhythm and stuff like that. First thing you need to get together if you really want to groove on jazz guitar to four feel. What's that? I mean, you can one, two, three, four. First, you just count one two, three, four, and you make the foot, which you don't see so properly here, but I'm doing it now here with the hand. One, two, three, just on two, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? Or one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <coughs> the whole thing has to be done in two, four feels. So your foot has to be on 2-4. What often happens when you're not so <laughs> secure or you not so concentrated or something is so difficult that you switch, then the foot switches to 1 and 3. Um, also, s <laughs> still happens sometimes to me when it's just too much, when I explain is blah, 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 and then, you know, it's a difficult thing. Then also, when you fall out, mostly you get your foot on 1 and 3 instead of 2-4. So the whole thing has to be one, two, three, four. So you can take a backing track. I created one here, just drum and bass. And first thing is just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now just play the chords. really simple okay this was now very simple just on the one now we make it more difficult we put the chord on one then on two then on three then on four but still staying in the two four feeling okay i'll show you two three four one two three four one two three four one looks really simple but this thing will make a knot in your brain it because it's the two four has to be your stable thing which keeps you on the groove on the beat you know and gives you this laid back feeling you know and you should be able to count while your foot is doing two four and play the chords just on either on the one the two the three or the four okay and that alone is already difficult if you had never done that before. I can tell you by now. Yo, so that's the first um, exercise which can be done. You can do with backing track, without backing track, without backing track. It's the same thing. One, just two, count loud. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and so on, okay? Good. Now, 
Ähm, ja, the most rhythm patterns in jazz are two bar patterns and they always come with one note on beat, short or long, and one note off beat and then an answer in the second bar. The most common uh, figure which is used is the one and two end figure, <coughs> so we really pay take this into consideration, really pay close attention. The better you have a feeling for that, um, the better for you, because then you can, con can concentrate on the other things. So the one and two and thing sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. With foot and toe, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. Okay? So that's the first thing. Now we do the two bar thing. We combine with the exercise from before. So the answer is going to be the D9, either on one, two, three, or four. But we have the first figure as an opening phrase, and then the variation comes with the other figure, okay? So that will be one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? First, like this, in a tempo which you still can control all things, and then with the backing track. Uh, you only have to do the counting in the beginning. Later you do this with feeling. And when the better you have this in your, in your system, these are the tools of which you need to be able to manage and then you can let it flow. You know, when I do, when I do uh, jazz guitar groove, I don't really think so much anymore. I just focus on the 2-4 feeling, but first you need to practice the 2-4 feeling, okay? And once you have the 2-4 feeling, done you can even read a newspaper while playing the two four the foot keeps you on the line okay that's really important now we did um on beat answer, now we do off beat answer. That's a little bit more difficult. So we do four end answer, one end, two end, and three end answer of the D9. Okay? Still, the, the first figure is one and two end, second one is an off beat answer. So let's do that. Hopefully, the now it gets more difficult. Probably also make a mistake. You know, once you have done these exercises properly, you don't have to do them anymore because then you. You just let it go and focus on the 2-4 thing. But if the 2-4 thing doesn't work, you need to practice the single... Well, that's what we're doing now, the, s the, s the, s the single um, figures which can pop up. Okay, so let's do that now. Offbeat, answer. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. Uh, I missed it. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. And one, two, three, four. One and two, one, two and three, four, one, two and three, four, one, two and three, four, one, two, three, and. Okay? Uh, I messed up one of those a little bit. <coughs> so, then with the backing track. So the thing moved and yo. then we do combinations of all it. I have it all written down here. That's why I'm always looking here, you know. Then we have combinations. Combinations will be that the answer 
is a, a two bar figure as well and there again we have a we have an offbeat on beat answer or opposite if the first figure is on beat off beat is most likely the answer is off beat on beat but it also can be opposite so now we have an answer um, we have the same figure again one two and three four one and then on answer four and on two so one two three four one two and three four okay now it gets really more difficult <laughs> second would be uh, we have an offbeat answer on one end and uh, on beat on three so one two three four one two and three four one and two three four one two and three four one and two three four that's another variation okay that's really complicated and if you have your two four two four thing not going on it's going to be really tough or you can make the opposite what we won't get too much into details you have you, you you just now change it you start with off beat on beat and then go to beat off beat so a figure now uh, the first chord on one end and on three and the second chord on one and two ends so we just changed now the polarities one two three four one and two three four one two and three four one and two this is also a possibility or others Yo. once you have done this exercise and there's somehow work then you put in it now it comes how do we groove on jazz guitar you learned all figures now and you can you don't have time to count all the time you also need to create you know think about what you're doing on the fretboard how it sounds all these little effects which you can do you know make like on the long notes, I tend to make a make a, a vibrator effect by just pressing against the guitar. See? Yo. And then um, just let it go and focus on 2-4 and just play with the backing track. can also go out of this basic figure which you just checked out just let it go and focus on the two four and then these little things they happen automatically you cannot plan this you know you just <laughs> You can also make more complicated figures of course as long as you stay in the two four you cannot really go wrong but if you don't if you cannot do the basics which I show now, then it's gonna be tough. So these basics will help you to have a stable founding or stable um, basis um, where you can rely on and which really works. And then you can just let it go and just focus on the on getting the two four feel into your playing and then it's gonna be really cool. Good. One more to say. If you wanna download that cool backing trick I played bass plus the tabs of the exercises, which I just showed. Um, it's available in the HP Crazy Guitar Academy. Please join there with a free member account, but if you want to download the files and need a premium member account, please join the Academy anyway, and also make the premium membership upgrade anyway to support the work which me and Dr. Pink are doing for you guys out there. Um, we're soon going to be back with more interesting stuff in jazz guitar, so also subscribe to the channel and share the information to the guitar community that there's a guy with a pink guitar out there. See you guys.